I could just say that um, the story behind Not All Alone, which is basically uh, my part of it, you know, the story of my recovery in a therapeutic community, and that people should know as much as possible about that, how it works in, on the inside, and what made me sick in the first place. And, you know, I, my story was an incredible awakening that I realised that children cannot be guilty for what happens to them. And I, children carry everything you're, you're inside. You're born innocent. You're born innocent. And anything that hor horrible that happens to you, and this is to everyone, I love you so much. If you're carrying inside you thinking that you couldn't be guilty as a child, it's the adults who did what they shouldn't do. And when I realised that, and I realised that my parents had been silly or stupid by sending me to the wrong person when I was a child and what happened to me. Mm -hmm. I got complete inner peace. And I do believe that this book, please God, there's 11 wonderful authors in there with me. A lot to do with mental health issues, most of us, I think. There's um, a Holocaust survivor in it, and he's in his 90s. Right, so this book this is, book is incredible. Out. Has it been published yet? It's coming out the 1st of October. It's called Simply Amazing, and it'll, hopefully I'll be doing talks at Waterstone, because I'm the only English author. The rest are all in America. Oh, right, right. <laughs> yeah, the, um, it's been created by Casey Armstrong mm -hmm. of World Most Amazing People. Right. And I'm very, very proud to be involved in it because some of the stories are, like I say, so a Holocaust survivor. There there? Eleven. Eleven, 11, Eleven authors, and Eleven I'm one of them. And you're one of the Eleven. Um, it's an interview that Casey Armstrong did with me about why I got sick and what happened to me, mm -hmm. and why I didn't go downhill when I was in a wheelchair. I created my TV station and decided to go out there and help yes, more again, people. Yes, again, because being in a wheelchair can be, uh, a, a, especially if, if you suddenly find yourself in a wheelchair. Overnight. Used to being overnight. Mobile, yes, overnight. I just yeah, lost yeah. Dad. Family cut me off, yes. and I could not do anything. I was in, stuck in a wheelchair for four months, mm. and if that doesn't drive you completely crazy, if that doesn't really push you I'm, off the edge, I'm bad then... enough if it rains out. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm the same actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah I don't yeah, think there's many people that do actually like being out I, in the rain. And do you know what mm. I did? Because we didn't have any neighbours that came in at all, and I'm sorry about the community, but I pushed the wheelchair outside and I went around the neighbourhood and introduced myself to right. everyone and asked them to come in because that's the kind of person yeah. I am. So this book I believe is going in connecting. to be out in in the book in all good bookstores. Well. Uh, I have to. It will be coming out in America in a big way. They've got to sell eight thousand books, mm. and they we're all. If they sell eight thousand books, and there's eleven authors, then we all become um, New York bestsellers. Right. So my job is to sell it in England, mm -hmm. and there will be an ISBN coming out soon. I'm waiting for it because obviously Waterstones, I think, are the biggest store here in the mm. UK. But I'll be putting it around What's, everywhere. Is it Waterstones that's in Kirkcaldy? I can't remember. I don't know. I know. I that, think I there think is. I believe country. there is a, um, a water stone. Mm -hmm. yeah, you I might have actually is, yes. passed it when I've been walking up and down yes, the street. Uh, yeah. But yeah. I'm. I'm not sure. Um, uh, what's going to happen because the publishers are doing a lot in America, and Casey Armstrong's getting standing ovations when he talks about the book and yes. what's in it. It's going to be the next chicken soup for the soul. That's what we're hoping. Right, it's so this all book, we're just trying to get about where where can we get this book when it comes out? Will it be oh, you'll have to. Online or oh, yeah, yeah. You, if you contact me, um, I'm going to give my email. It's Lauren with an E at movingontv.uk. That's now, the best way to get in touch yeah, with me. Now, I will put your details on our Facebook page Thank as you. well so that uh, anybody wants to find out more about it or see yourself, and we'll put a link. To yes, your and the song. Everything's connected, uh, right. and yeah, if you want to support us, sponsor us, anything, we, you know, we need people to help us to buy the link. If you want to be part of it, if you want to sing on the video, you know, we'll add you on. <laughs> uh, anybody, we're just looking to make this a huge mm -hmm. positive noise, right. so to speak. We're also in looking, the whole of you know. Yeah, we're also looking to do eventually looking to do live performances as well because, mm. as we mentioned earlier on. Uh, uh, 
um, uh, Lauren has just made uh, some more amazing um, more songs anyway so to add to our compilation list we're actually encompassing more about three or four more songs to yeah. sort of make an album anyway All so right. we will eventually be uh, yeah. doing some street performances as well so yeah. Okay. Please come well, along recording. and we'd love to. We're recording yeah. not all alone in a studio here in Kirkcaldy, isn't it? Yes. We're going that we're recording yeah. Remaining Broken Hearted, which right. is our second rock number. And so we've thank got you. you know, so please God, Sarah's Hope will be out okay. there giving well, people I'm hope. I'm going to say thank you thank for coming you. along. Thank you I know so much, Mark. Go. Yeah, we've got to go and home, uh, we will man. put that stuff on Facebook. <laughs> we will put that all that information on Facebook. Brilliant. Facebook and then you can send that to me and I will social media it everywhere yeah. and thank you very much for having us and, mark uh, thank you and, mark. and thank you everyone for listening to us as well thank you everyone on uh, facebook live as well uh, yeah so you're you're doing this journey with us so we're looking forward to yeah when the book comes out as i say mm -hmm. thank you so much mark and uh take care everyone say bye itself is uh, the character that I play I, I look dreadfully uh, dreadfully awful dressed as a goth by the way because I look entirely different in real life with myself well, acting color. it is mm. absolutely absolutely yeah to the better color I may add um, and so yeah, playing the part the of, um, of the, goth, the gothic good. image if you like because so I'm signifying yes absolutely so I'm signifying someone who has gone over to the edge of insanity the reason being is uh, myself being the vocalist for the song is that I've um, um, suffered from the bereavement of the boyfriend who has actually um, committed suicide because he was the victim of crime and um, I'm seeing in the actual video itself, seeing ghostly images of him appearing yeah. on the gravestone. On the grave. <laughs> so it's signifying in my mind uh, the, these um, these emotional images, and I can't seem to get him out of my mind. Yeah. So therefore, again, taking me over to the brink of insanity, yeah. um, I sort of kind of lose control. And there's quite a sort of interesting, um, out of the 50 video clips we've done for um, the whole video of the song, um, I'm having a bit of road rage in my car as well which is really quite amusing because I actually play the part of someone who's purely just tipped over the edge because I can't get over the death of mm. this ex-boyfriend. He keeps turning up his face. Mm. Yes, he keeps appearing in my imagination so I'm getting kind of uh, ghostly visions and what have you. So uh, then... Um, yeah, I think a um, few people could probably relate to that. Yes, Definitely. absolutely. Grief. It's grief, grief. it's yes. bereavement. Yes. Grief is huge. Grief is yes, a big it is. thing and mm -hmm. it needs Definitely. to be dealt with properly. Yes, so oh, this is the idea. Yeah, it is, yes. Mm. Yeah, and it just signifies the whole idea of mental health and that um, through sort of probably halfway through the video towards three quarters of it is that I gradually see the light as it were. So I'm dressing up in bright clothes, I'm meeting new friends. Right. So um, this is you coming out the other side of it. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Colours, colours yeah. are very bright important colours. Mm -hmm. for depression. And colours it signifies are hope. very important. Yes. Mm. Incidentally, you know, yeah. with our band name being Sarah's Hope, so and then we it's dance got a good hook to it. We do the play. Yes. playful thing, and then Aunt Sarah goes back to her blonde, uh, her natural colour, yes. and it shows us having fun and, you know, going mm -hmm. back to being children again with fun. But it, it's fantastic. What Aunt Sarah just said is, is spot on. Thank you. But I want to look more at the symbolism of the words because yes, it yes. actually does show you the whole mind. We're looking at the mind and how the mind works. 
So if we look at the thoughts I have of you, you're always on my on mind, mind. Mm -hmm. circling, circling round my brain. It happens all the time. OCD, yes. OCD. It won't go away. Won't go away. Yeah. Um, I close my eyes and a vision will appear. So again, the he's there all the, the time. Yeah. Wish that you were next mm -hmm. to me, but you're no longer here. Wish mm -hmm. we were together, not all alone. The anger you display, I really cannot take. So we're talking about rage, of loss, um, of, of trying to get through, in, and she can't get through in any way. Mm -hmm. Want to break the barriers that you and I would make. So it's, it's about trying to get through to people when you have a barrier between you. Uh -huh. Well, the barrier here is death, but it's more about the mind. When the mind cannot say what when you don't the person can't say what they want to say they can't express themselves that's a barrier mm -hmm. um there'll well, always be barriers themselves you know and yes, that's right. exactly and mm -hmm. but as i say the, you do that and particularly when you have a mental health issue you mm -hmm. isolate yeah. and all the rage is in, stuck inside of you and you can see this character that Aunt Sarah is playing is just, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know what to do. I can't break these barriers. There's so much rage inside and I don't know what to do with it. Um, there'll always be a part of you down deep inside. You're in the corners of my heart. You're always on my mind. Wish we were together. I try to follow all the cycles of the night. Up and down the feelings go. I know mm -hmm. it isn't right. Bipolar. Up and down, yes. happy, yeah. sad, happy, mm -hmm. sad. Mm -hmm. um, One extreme or another. Extreme, yes. yeah. Up Definitely. and down, the feelings go, I know it isn't right. Reaching out to and touch it's just your like love. Can be flicking a switch inside you and you can Absolutely. Go exactly. happy yeah. Side. Yeah. yeah. Reaching out to touch your love, but emptiness is here. Grief, mm -hmm. wish that we were here again. You'll always be there. And then it ends with, I feel the cold, dark night go trembling through my skin. Bar the doors and windows tight so I won't let him in. It, so it's like, that's it, you know. It's like keeping um, out the depression as well. Yeah. Keeping everything. Yeah. It's, it's like it's coming to an end. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's coming to death. Mm -hmm. And you can see it, it's in black and white. And, right. and then the trees have finally shed their leaves and winter is here. That's death. Mm -hmm. That's the end. And, and so again, our love was... Winter is a depressing time. For yeah. Yes, yes. but it's well. a new beginning. So our love will slowly die mm -hmm. and I will shed a tear. Yeah. Wish we were together, not all alone. She walks away from the grave and she starts her life again right. so, so it's in so it starts coming again terms, coming to terms with what's happened in all yes yeah. so yes. you see the thing is this complex needs disorder that we call BPD it's got every single symptom of every single mental illness in it. Mm -hmm. So this is a song that represents that. You've got a little bit of agoraphobia, a little bit of depression, a little bit of OCD, a little bit of everything. Every single condition. They're not full blown mm -hmm. and that's why it's manageable when mm -hmm. you learn how to manage it. It's a bit like Woolworths, where you go and pick a few a few sweets here, chocolates there. That's what it is. It's a complex yes. needs. So the song "Not All Alone" is showing you every single mental health issue, yes. and and it's showing you in the video how you can manage it. And what sort mm. of do you know? What sort of percentage of the population suffer with mental health? Uh, maybe throughout their lives or at particular points? Well, a, do you want, want me to be honest with you? statistics there for us? I think every single person is walking around with a personality disorder. It's Every single person. Yeah. It's just that when it gets to the level of grief, huge grief, um, when you, I've known people that have lost people and they've gone to the doctor, they, instead mm -hmm. of being diagnosed with, with um, uh, grief, they've been diagnosed with BPD or borderline or, or um, bipolar, sorry, mm -hmm. which are completely different conditions. Yes. So I would say that everyone is walking around with it because we're living in such a stressful world and oh, people yes. are being shocked all over the place to some extent mm -hmm. because you see with this condition, you know the characters and I do a show called How to Stay Sane in a Crazy World and I talk about the martyr that we have inside of us, I talk about the whinger that we have inside of us and I characterize them as mm -hmm. with my acting I always say do you have a whinger that you know? Do you have someone who's a martyr? Okay, I'm sorry to stop sorry. you just there, but we, we okay. need to go, and, uh, go to another tune. Okay, um, so it's just full-blown. It gets out of control, and that's what this condition is. Were you, you going to like this next song? <laughs> Thank you. It's, it's Madonna and okay. Frozen. I'm so passionate. I'm actually going in a book in America called Simply Amazing. My story is going in there because 
I want to shout it from the rooftops that there is a service on our beautiful NHS that I'm so proud of and we're all very proud to have. It's free, guys. And you know what, when I ask someone, do you know what a therapeutic community is, they'll go blank. Nobody yeah, knows it even exists. Yeah. So I'm here to tell you that if you know anyone, one of your colleagues or your friends or your family or yourself, and they've given you that label, borderline personality disorder, be as lucky as I was and ask your doctor. Someone told, they told me, because I wouldn't take medication. Ask them, can I please try what Lauren tried, a therapeutic community? And that's where the money needs to go. Not into a huge amount of drugs that are making people sicker, but into therapeutic communities. And I'm very passionate about it. And I've been trying to do this for seven years, and I can't even get on the one show. So if anyone is out there, it's just a message to pass on. It's on our NHS. It's not a secret. It's a secret that everyone should know. Thank you. Yeah. Well done, Lauren. You certainly, <laughs> I think certainly that really got into that there, more or less, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> in a nutshell, what? Well, <laughs> everything. Very fortunate. I do have some experience of mental health issues, having been a. Oh, and it's not, years, it's not bipolar. I do as well. But um, it's not bipolar. I have to say, what I found from my experience on mental health issues, it was very much an out of sight, out of mind issue, and the facility is um, that if we keep persevering with such a positive message, people need a positive message. And my book is coming out. As I say, I'm coming out in the book called Simply Amazing um, with another 11 authors. Not all alone.